Hey now, it's Booker Corrigan here at halftime, and I am lucky enough to be joined by Tim Schultz, the CMO of the Crown Lacrosse Classic. Tim, it's a great event. It's a great weekend in Charlotte. Talk about your connection to the sport of lacrosse. You bet, Booker. It's great to be with you. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about this awesome event. It's one of my favorite. We do it over 30 events a year, and we kick off our year every year with this event, the Crown Lacrosse Classic, and it's become just an awesome community lacrosse event. We get about four matchups every year, and I've been involved with it uh, since about 2019, I believe. And you know, I'm, I'm working on getting more fans to the event and expose them to this fast growing sport. And I'm also working hard with our team to bring in more corporate clients that want to uh, reach this audience. It's a fantastic audience. It's young, it's active, it's healthy, it's affluent. And so we're just working every day to continue to build on the foundation that we've built so far. Lacrosse fans do love to support the companies that support them and put on great events like this one. Tell us about what dominoes had to fall into place to get this kind of a lineup of teams, or are we just lucky? Well, I wouldn't say we're lucky. I would say, you know, uh, our part, one of our partners on the event is Chris Schiller. He's a co-owner of the event, and Chris has deep roots in, in lacrosse. He played at Penn State. He played professionally in the MLL, and he's just a terrific friend and a terrific colleague. And he's got tremendous relationships, and he uh, he works with the college coaches that are looking for a, a tough matchup to see where they are at before the season kicks off. And uh, over the over the years, we've built uh, some amazing matchups with Penn versus Penn State. Cornell's been involved. Uh, one year we had Syracuse women versus Virginia Tech. So those dominoes on the competition side, Chris really spearheads uh, incredibly well for us. And then, of course, on the business side, you know, my team and I are working every day to just reach out to a lot of the youth clubs that are involved in lacrosse and a lot of the high school and middle school teams and really trying to give them a tremendous uh, value and affordable package so the whole team can come out and see such a high level of lacrosse being played right here in the Queen City. And I would say the third piece of this, um, the event over the years has kind of has traveled to uh, multiple facilities and we had been waiting for American Legion Memorial Stadium to be rebuilt, and that was the final domino. Um, last year, brand new stadium, uh, terrific, terrific venue for lacrosse and soccer, and we are so excited to have that venue as another one of those key dominoes to fall. Um, and the feedback from the teams has been amazing. They played, We played there last year for the first time, and the surface is fantastic. Um, and the venue is intimate, so the fans are close to the field, and it's a pretty amazing environment for lacrosse. Great environment, great venue, great teams involved. As the lacrosse junkie leading the way on this, where do you see this event growing in 2024? Well, my hope is that, you know, we continue to build the fan base for the sport. Uh, we've got an opportunity to do that with uh, uh, we're involved uh, with Corrigan Sports in hosting the ACC Women's Lacrosse Championships. And then in, in the summer, we'll be bringing back the Professional Lacrosse League. And we're so excited about that. It was a tremendous show last summer. So again, continuing to try to cultivate and, and, and deepen those relationships with the fans here in, in Charlotte is a key uh, to the growth of this. And, you know, we're always going to be on the hunt for great matchups, D1, men's and women's, D2 men's and women's, and give a full day of lacrosse. I would love to see us get to the, uh, to the point where this is a nationally televised event, not just streamed, but nationally televised, as well as looking at potential uh, fan zone type things, as well as uh, a youth component on the field would be, I think, an exceptional addition. So as we continue to try to build this event, I think there's some key verticals that are available to us uh, to make it even a, a stronger event and perhaps expand to two days. He is Tim Schultz and he has done a fabulous job getting this event to where it is and seeing where it's going to go. Thanks so much for the time, Tim. Can't wait to get back for the second half. Thanks for having me.